Hi, I'm Daryl from the North Carroll Branch Library, and welcome to What to Read Wednesday. Now, it looks like the fall and winter months are going to be filled with some great books coming out. Now, today I'm going to highlight a couple of those that you'll definitely want to start reading before everybody else is talking about them. The first up is a book called Little Threats by Emily Schultz. Now, it's the summer of 1993, and twin sisters Kennedy and Carter Wynn are embracing the grunge era, and they're also testing every limit afforded to them in their privileged Richmond life. But Kennedy's teenage rebellion goes too far one night when after a night of partying, her best friend Haley is found murdered. And then suspicion falls upon Kennedy. She can't remember anything about what happened that night, though. This, along with the damning testimony of a college boy who both Kennedy and Haley were in love with, is enough to force Kennedy to enter a guilty plea for her murder. Now let's fast forward to 2008, when Kennedy is released from prison to a world that's moved on without her. Carter has grown distant as she even questions Kennedy's innocence. And then Carter begins a relationship with someone who could drive the sisters apart forever. The twins' father, Jerry, is eager to protect the fragile family secrets. But Kennedy... Her return brings the tragedy back to the surface, along with a whole new wave of media attention. When a crime show comes to town asking questions, murky memories of Haley's death begin to become back to her. As new suspects emerge and the suburban woods finally give up their secrets, two families may be destroyed once again. Now take a look at the book trailer for this one. Now, Little Threats by Emily Schultz should be on everybody's radar if you like a good mystery, especially if you like a few twists along the way. Now, the next book I'm going to talk about, called Murder in Old Bombay by Nev March, is a debut book, and it's probably going to be on a lot of people's top 10 list for the best books of 2020. Now, it's based on real 19th century events that happened in Bombay, India. Now, in this book, the main character, Captain Jim, we find him recovering from wounds received in a skirmish. His long, dull months spent in the hospital are relieved only by reading the local newspapers and also rereading the tales of that new pulp sensation, Sherlock Holmes. That should give you an idea of the time period that it's set in also. Now, the newspapers in Bombay are following the deaths of two young ladies who plunged to death from one of its tallest clock towers. Now, did they jump? Or were they pushed? A young widower named Adi insists that his wife and sister did not commit suicide. Intrigued by his dilemma, Captain Jim seeks out this young widower and is hired to investigate their death. And in doing so, he also channels his idol, Sherlock Holmes. In a land of divided loyalties, asking questions can be dangerous. The investigation stirs the shadows that haunt this well-to-do family. And when the lively lady Diana joins the hunt for her sister's attackers, uh, Captain Jim's heart isn't safe either. Take a quick look at this trailer to get a feel for the exotic setting of this tale.
murder in old Pompeii is great for readers who like intrigue, learning about other cultures, a little romance, all wrapped up in a giant mystery. Now, this is a book that leaves you hoping that will lead to more books in this series so we can learn more about these great characters that we've fallen in love with in this first novel. Already praised by places like Publishers Weekly and Kirkus, this one is sure to earn a spot on your most memorable read shelf. I'd check it out today. Until next time, we hope that you grab your mask, stop by one of our libraries, pay us a visit, and check out some of these great books that we're talking about. But until then, be safe, keep learning, and keep reading. Thank you.